What's up, everybody? It's, uh, it's your boy Tribe, bringing, hitting you out with another video again, a little something different. You know, this is a continuation of my uh, Ancestry or 23andMe results. Um, this time I'm going to be uploading my uh, my results into JetMatch because uh, uh, a little research and... And as y'all remember from my earlier video, I was 87.1% uh, uh, African, or Sub-Saharan African, 80.5% uh, West African, 2.6% Central and South African, and 0.5% uh, East African. And the rest is 3.4% of Raleigh Sub-Saharan African. And uh, also it was 0.6% uh, South uh 0.6% East Asian and Native American, 11.1% European. Um, so it's no uh, Middle Eastern, North African was detected, or Oceanian was detected. Uh, and the rest is just 1.2%, which was unsigned. They couldn't couldn't even determine it, even at. And uh, you know there are a couple of things that uh, that had me, I guess, that had me thinking. You know, right here it was, uh, you know, for Southern European. Uh, you know, for the Southern European area that, you know, the Balkan, the Iberian, you know, Italian and Sardinian, those make up the complete Southern European area. And I turned out 0% for none of those. And they just said, oh, I'm just broadly Southern European. And, you know, that had me thinking right there, you know, uh, you know that. I know that they can't, they can't really pinpoint where we're at in the Southern European I'm from, you know, because the Southern European make up, you know, the Mediterranean is also included as the Med Mediterranean. And um, in the Mediterranean, include all these countries right here, and also the the you know the northern coastal uh, areas of Africa, which is uh, let me go to it. If you can see right, right here is is uh, Morocco, Algeria, uh, Tunisia, Libya, and Egypt, and also some uh, Middle Eastern uh, countries right here. So uh, yeah, that that had me thinking because when I uh, because as you know on uh, 23andMe, you can change the confidence level. And at 90%, I'm only 64.9% uh, Sub-Saharan African. That's what they're 90% for sure of. And 6.5% uh, European, 0.2% uh, broad, uh, broadly East Asian Native American. And the rest is just on a sign. They don't know what 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 uh, what I am. You know, 90%. And this is conservative. You know, being a scientist, you shouldn't report data if you're not nine, at least 90% sure. So... Uh, I went into a jab match and uploaded my DNA into there. And uh, this is my results, uh, which is 0.69 Native American, 0.71% Ancestral Altaic, and 0.57 uh, Central Asian. So this would be, in total, this would be, uh, I think, a little bit over 2% Native American and Asian, Asian and Native American. Because these three countries are, you know, uh, from, uh, these three, these three right here make up like Asian and Native American. Uh, as you see, I got zero for Arctic, South e South India, Australoid, Austronesian, and Caucasian. So zero percent of those. So uh, and zero point zero nine percent archaic human. No East African and no Siberian. Uh, the one that uh, you know, as I said, it came up six point five percent European. And that's what they're sure 90 percent for sure is that i'm 6.5 percent european and right here if you add up the 3.26 for european early farmers and 3.27 european hunter gatherers that's 6.5 so the numbers here are matching up and for you know africa i got 1.46 percent khoisan 1.21 milano polynesian which is probably which is uh possibly uh papua new guinea uh you know Mel uh Melanesian and stuff like that, which kind of adds up too, because my grandma, she, uh, my my grandmother on my father's side, she remembers that her great grandmother was, you know, was a slave that was bought here in the early to mid 1800s. And if you know, if some of you might know, is that the uh, transatlantic slave trade ended in the late 1700s, like about 1790. And some people, people were still bringing in slaves illegally. And she said that her her grandmother was one of those in that she was a short, dark woman with blonde, curly hair. And, you know, that and they all, you know, thought she was Melanesian. 
So, you know, that kind of adds up because on every test on jet mats that I did, Melanesian has come, has come up. At the max for uh, for Oceanian, it was 3.4%. I think, yeah, about 3.4%. So that was the max. Um, okay, 17.49% Archaic African. And here's just what got me right here. Okay, you remember when I said that the for Southern European, it was 51 but they couldn't really pinpoint it. And for a lot of other tests on jet mats, I kept coming up 5.3, 5.1%, mostly 5.1% Mediterranean. And like I said, Mediterranean makes up like the the Balkan area, the coastal Balkan areas, the Sardinian, Iberia, and uh, Italy. And I came out 0% for none of those. So uh, North Africa makes sense to me. You know, it's the, you know, coastal, coastal African countries, and so, you know, that was cool. That was cool. You know, I, I, I couldn't, you know, I, 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 I couldn't let that go because I really wanted to find out what was that 5%. And I found out what it was. And, the, you know, the rest is just 6 point, uh, 65.8% uh, Sub-Saharan African. So in total, that makes me 6.5%. 6. 6. Uh, I think, yeah, 6.5% 6. 6. Uh, European uh, about 2.3% Native American and Asian, East Asian, or yeah, Asian and Native slash Native American is like 2.3, uh, 1.2, 1.2% uh, Melanesian or Oceanian, however they, like how 23andMe categorizes it, and I think a little bit under 91%, about 91, yeah, about 91% African. So, you know, uh, if anybody, you know, know, you know, anything, you know, if my, if my, you know, uh, hypothesis is incorrect, you know, can, you know, someone let me know or comment on this, uh, you know, cause I, I really want to find out what that, you know, it's hard, you know, cause I'm, you know, I'm a, you know, scientist, biologist. So, you know, I really want to figure these things out. And, you know, I've just been so all about, you know, uh, I guess since I submitted this test so much about like my ancestry and stuff like that, because as far as I trace, I trace my, I was able to trace my family back on mostly all sides to like the early uh, 1800s, even some to like the late 1700s. And, you know, they all came out like, you know, uh, mostly just all African. So I wasn't surprised, you know, uh, I was being conservative too. I was like, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like 70% African and the rest of it was like, you know, European or 75, 25 or 80, 20. So I was really shocked when I got, you know, I'm, I didn't really show it in, you know, my videos, but, you know, my earlier ones. But I was I was pretty shocked and I was pretty proud that I was almost 90 percent. I was 87.1. So, you know, me being a, you know, African-American from, you know, uh, you know, family comes from the deep south. So, you know, it's just it's just wonderful, you know, and both both parts of my haplogroups, groups, you know, maternal and paternal, they all come from East Africa. So, you know, I was really, really proud. And. You know, now that I see that 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 remaining 5.1 percent that I was uh, that I wasn't sure of was actually from North Africa, you know, uh, so pretty happy. Puts me at about you know 90, 91 percent African. So I'm guess I'm super black. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm you know proud of you know every every aspect of me. You know, from the from the Asian to the Native American to the European to the Milano Polynesian to the African, I'm proud of everything. And, you know, um, like I said on my, you know, like I was telling people that, you know, the next step is just from here is just to visit my homeland. And, you know, there are some people on YouTube who encourage me to, you know, uh, to go to, to go to Africa. You know, one person I do want to mention, shout out to is uh, Search for Uhuru. You're awesome, man. Keep doing your thing, man. You inspire us, you know, African diasporans to, you know, want to go out to Africa and go back to our homeland because I think we get a big misconception out here in America that, you know, Africa is just this third world, third world country with nothing but crime, AIDS, and you know, disease, famine, stuff like that. But it's truly not, you know, and it's a, it's completely different from what they show on TV. And you've been definitely showcasing you know, what it really is. And it's a beautiful homeland with beautiful, nice people. And I cannot wait until I can get that chance to visit. So thank you. Keep keep more power to you, brother. And, you know, keep doing your thing. So this is the end of my video. Thank you to everybody. If 
you know, if you can't subscribe, blessings.